Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Caleb and today we're going to be looking at my 6800 XT in a little more depth here. You know the mess behind me. I really need to get on my kids. Uh, today we're going to be looking at kind of some basic overclock starting with uh, kind of a default slash balance preset. Um, and then going up to rage mode, auto overclocking, and then manual OC as well in both Time Spy, uh, the demo benchmark, and then Heaven. 4.0 on the preset, I believe the extreme preset. Let me just verify. Yeah, on the extreme preset. So let's get into it. Um, if you do want to see any more content like this, um, any other benchmarks, or like comparing it to my 6700 XT, even comparing my 3700X on this card to my brand new 5900X, or even a video of installing that for that matter, and potentially a future budget build coming up. Uh, make sure to leave a like down below, comment on anything you'd like, submit more info on, and uh, we'll make sure to make it happen. Subscribe so you don't miss anything, and we'll get on to the show. Here we have this one on the balance preset, which I think is slightly faster than uh, stock, but not by much. Changes a couple of things, but not a whole lot. This test is in uh, the Fire Strike demo. Overall, it did pretty decently, which you'll see at the end here. I'm not going to make it last too long. I'm just kind of going over the basic gist of each overclock here. Uh, we're going to have this one, which is balanced, and we're going to move on to uh, rage mode, then auto overclock the GPU, and then we're going to do manual OC for fire strike, uh, which I actually kind of had a weird situation at the end of where I had to redo it because my CPU didn't... Uh, failed, so I had to downclock the CPU slightly. I'm actually upgrading to a 5900X here in the next day or two, so that'll be fun. Uh, then after the Fire Strike demos, we move on to the Heaven demos, and that's kind of where the interesting thing comes out. Uh, for Fire Strike, I just ran the standard Fire Strike benchmark. Nothing special about it. Should be pretty straightforward. Uh, do uh, these benchmarks in the bottom right they uh, lagged out really bad on the fire strike it is what it is but just ignore that and continue to watch it as it goes through it works just the same regardless so hopefully everything works out from there and at the end of this one here we are going to have the results which come out to 14386 for the overall graphics score was 16679 which isn't terrible per se then we will move on to the next one here, which as you can see is the Rage preset. Running through, I logged it, but the logs didn't save for me. Um, issue with the Radeon, either the Radeon software or the way Firestrike was working. I think it was Firestrike because it only seemed to happen when Firestrike itself was running. As you can see, I've got the clock speeds, utilization, all the standard stuff, and CPU here. The Heaven benchmarks actually change a little bit of this layout as I think that was the last test if I, if I remember correctly. Looking through here, I'm on Rage, it is holding a higher clock than stock, which is nice to see. Kind of averaging around that 22 to 2300 from the looks of it for the most part. I am using the full utilization, and this CPU speed was a little lower than I would have liked to see, but it is what it is. But as you can see, on Rage mode, the, f the temperature is staying very low. That will change soon when I go to the other uh, test here, when I go to the higher overclocks. So that is CPU test done, and 14.56, one was the overall, graphics score of 16.879, I'm going to have at the end of this video a breakdown of all of the results here. Uh, then we go into the auto overclock feature here, which I don't remember, I think the clock speed I was aiming for was like 2450 or 2500, something like that. It goes over 24 occasionally. Uh, it doesn't really max at what it aims for, but it does hold fairly well. As you'll see at the end of it, though, it's not that much different between this and Rage Mode. I would just stick with Rage Mode, to be honest. Um, the Auto Overclock can hit a higher uh, frequency, at least on the Midnight Black. However, Rage Mode seems to hold a more stable frequency. I think I'd settle for the more stable frequency, personally, but the results are about the same between the two of them they both scored about the same and I mean these are all heavily heat soaked my system is up to temp there's nothing missing about it it's all air cooled which is actually changing with my 5900x 
So as you can see, 14560, graphics score of 16843, essentially the same as the previous one. I'm being heavily limited by that 3700X here, so it is what it is. This one is the manual overclock for Fire Strike. I aimed, apparently I didn't actually show what I was going for, which kind of sucks, but I set it to like 2600 to 2700 if I remember correctly, or maybe 2575 to 2675, one of those two. No, 2650 to, tw or 2550 to 2650 is what I did, and it held the upper 2500s pretty well. Um, as you'll see in my heaven, I did manage to hold higher uh, frequencies with a little better of an overclock. This one I actually had a failure with a CPU, so I had to rerun it to where the CPU actually caught it. As you can see, graphics score of 17,220, overall of 15,151, which is a pretty solid increase. Again, I'll have all the results at the end here. Uh, next up, we move on to Heaven. I ran 1600 by 900. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. I just ran a basic extreme on 4.0 here. This is on absolute stock. It's not balanced preset. This is how it comes out of the box uh, with just the default settings. It's holding at 22 to 2300, so really a comparing to balance is about the same. Balance holds the 2300 a little better, it seems. But over here, it does run overall a little bit quicker. It seemed like at least, but that may also be benchmark to benchmark. You'll see it's actually running a higher temp here too, so that's one thing Rage does, is it does bring the temp down a little bit, which, I mean, at the end of the day, having a little more longevity out of a device isn't a bad idea per se. So these are a little bit of a longer benchmark, so they do get a little more heat soak at the end, but holding these temps, and you'll see it drop down in clock speed fairly often here as it's going through just where it doesn't need the performance. You do see it drop down, so that is a thing. Uh, this one here tested pretty decently. Um, 55552, five, 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 I'm not sure why this is so blurry. I apologize for that. I think it's because I took a screenshot of a video because I missed a first screenshot. As you see here, I'm doing a full manual overclock. 2575 to 2675 is what I ran here. I did a full fan curve adjustment and everything here. Uh, one thing I noticed is that VRAM does not like me on this one. I ran 2100 on the first test of this higher uh, uh, overclock here. And it didn't crash, but it seemed to affect my overall score. So you'll actually see... This is the first run. I didn't record the second run. This is the first run. All I did was change it over to uh, back to standard uh, VRAM frequency. I'm going to have both both of the uh, results here at the end. The first result is with the weird issue I'm having with the VRAM clocks. Um, and then the second one is having VRAM back to stock, but everything else where it was and it seems to have gained a lot just from that so you can see I'm still holding great frames overall I think comparable to I actually have no idea all the uh, 3080 and 3070 uh, benchmarks that I found online all ran like custom settings and if I go to those custom settings I get like 400 average so I don't really know what they're trying to do there so as you can see I only got 5573 which is barely up from the previous run at stock. However, rerunning with everything down, I get a 6102 with that VRAM back down. You'll see all the settings are still the same, basic extreme. It was so much better that way. Uh, here at the end, I'll go ahead and have it set up with all of the uh, final results. And here we have all of the final scores here. Uh, starting with the balance preset and time spike, getting 14,386 down to, and then up to 14,561 with the rage mode. Basically, the exact same score within margin of error for auto OC. The manual OC upped it to 15,151, which is a very good increase from uh, balance, which is I think slightly faster than stock. So, six one way, half a dozen the other, potentially a thousand point gain. I'd have to actually go back in and check it, but that was including. My CPU actually making use of itself, which was nice to see. Uh, on the right here, we have Heaven 4.0 Extreme Benchmark, which is, I think, 1600 by 900 with all the settings maxed out. Uh, the first one, which is the default settings as it comes out of the box, 220.4. 
FPS average with 5552 score. Then we had the manual OC with bad VRAM clocks, my issue I'm having. 221.2 FPS with 5573 score, slightly faster, not enough to matter. Then we have the real change. 2575 to 2675 megahertz manual OC with the VRAM clock set to stock. 242.2 FPS average with 6102 for the final score. Going to compare that to yours if you want, having 4.0 default settings. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Until then, as always, take it easy.